Hi, I'm Steph, and today I'm going to show you what to do if you encounter a power outage for 24 hours. In the first hour of a power outage, my first thought would be to get my emergency kit. I store it in an easily accessible place. For me, that's the kitchen drawer. I would then get my flashlight with working batteries and ensure I'm not using candles to avoid fire risk. I would then use my wind-up radio, which for me is the same object, or check social media for updates on the outage or to get advice from authorities. I would also check if the power outage is only in my home. If my neighbor's power is also out, I would call my power or hydro company. Finally, I'd turn off my appliances, electrical equipment, and turn thermostats down to avoid damage from a power surge when the power comes back. It's now been four hours and I've kept my refrigerator and my freezer doors closed. In fact, an unopened refrigerator can keep food cold for about four hours. A freezer can keep food frozen for 24 to 36 hours if the door remains closed. I would turn off all lights in my house except one inside and one outside so that both myself and hydro crews can know when power comes back. With eight hours without power, I would most likely dive into my non-perishable food supply and use my manual can opener from my emergency kit. Remember to never use charcoal or gas barbecues, camping heating equipment, or home generators inside as they give off carbon monoxide. I would also avoid getting food outside as I'm trying to eliminate unnecessary travel, especially by car. Traffic lights will be out and roads may be congested. After 16 hours without power, I may need to charge my electronic devices to stay connected. Portable generators can help with this. When it comes to generators, there are two main hazards to be aware of, electrocution and carbon monoxide poisoning. Portable generators can also be a fire ha hazard. Please be careful. After 24 long hours, my power has finally been restored. First, I would take the time to check in on vulnerable family members, friends, or neighbors who may require assistance. Second, I would check on my food supplies in my fridge, in my freezer, in my cupboards, to check for any signs of spoilage. When food starts to defrost, it generally needs to be thrown out. When in doubt, throw it out. Third, I would gradually turn on my appliances and my electronics to avoid damage from a power surge. Finally, I would go outside to check for any signs of damage or danger around my house. Be ready for an emergency like a power outage. Get an emergency kit.